Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cabela's, Cuddyback, America's Best Bowstrings, Drake Non-Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, Hoyman Tree Saws, Lone Wolf Tree Stands, Nikon, Ozonics, Redneck Blinds, RTP Outdoors, Spot Hog Releases, Wasp Archery, Viking Solutions, and Realtree. Well, I'm hunting a, a ridge top way back in the timber this morning. And uh, I used these uh, wet leaves. It rained last night using the wet leaves um, to my advantage this morning. I was able to sneak all the way back in on this ridge um, to get to this stand, get up quietly. Um, the only downside is I can't hear any deer walking. Um, that's usually a, you know, one of the funnest parts for me is to hear that clash, 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 you know, that, that, that steady gait of deer coming, you know, you just start to, heart starts to pound. So I'll be using the Nikons a lot more today. Uh, just kind of glassing as far as I can see here in the woods, trying to pick up movement. Um, and I did TSI, some timber stand improvement in here, and then I burned it. It's really thick off to, to one side, and the other side's pretty open. And uh, I'm sitting on the, the downwind side of that, so I'm expecting bucks to cruise right at the edge of that, that thick cover, checking for does this morning. So um, they kind of pinch down here. You know, kind of the, the peak of the ridge pinches down with, with that edge of that TSI. And I'm set up right at the corner of it. My scent's going off back down in the in a hole over there. So, I mean, today is Halloween. A lot of people think that uh, it's one of the best days to hunt of the year. So, I'm hoping to find out. That was a little demoralizing, I'll be honest with you. Um, 
that buck just stopped in the worst spot possible. I tried to get a shot there, and he was gone. I mean, he smelled me, and he was gone by the time the arrow got there. So I'll watch the, the footage back to see exactly what happened there. But oh man, I can't believe it. a nice ten pointer. He's a four year old buck. I know the neighbor showed me some pictures of him. I don't have any pictures of that deer that I'm aware of. Um, he was coming through and I saw his face and I knew he was mature. Um, big body on that deer, so. I um, wish I could have got an arrow in him, but that's the way it goes. Well, that's going to do it for my Halloween birthday hunt here in the morning. Uh, I'm going to go trick or treating this afternoon, so uh, spend some time with family. So I won't be, uh, won't be hunting this evening. But I had an awesome hunt. What an awesome birthday hunt. I still haven't killed the deer on my birthday, but, you know, um, what can you say? You know, maybe I shouldn't have shot at that alert deer. And, uh, you know, I took something away from, from today's hunt, but um, still pretty, pretty awesome, pretty good hunt, so. Um, haven't been seeing a lot of mature bucks up and moving, so happy to see two in one day. So, Well, it's November 4th. Me and Justin are set back up in the redneck again tonight. We are still chasing Colonel. The uh, weather's just been cold, cloudy, and rainy the last three or four days. and We're going to keep grinding out in this redneck. Uh, later in the week, we've got some nice weather coming. The sun's going to come out. We're anticipating a lot of great movement when that finally gets here. Uh, last night we hunted here and we did no sight of Colonel but uh, still seeing a lot of deer on the food plot and actually on the walk in we bumped I don't know there's probably seven or eight does out on the field and that many or more in the woods so we're hoping that the uh, the deer get to move and calm down and come back out in the food plot and maybe Colonel or another shooter will be uh, be right behind them so We'll see what the evening brings for us, and uh, hopefully we can get an arrow on one of these big Missouri deer. before he gets too far. Yeah. Or if he gets down in the ditch, I'll hit him then so he can't see up here. You know what I mean? I'd do it now. Okay. I'm watching this dog <clears throat> here. All right, keep an eye on him on the camera, see his response. Look. 
Okay. He keeps wanting to go in there. We just had another encounter with the Colonel. He, uh, we actually had some does step out <clears throat> of the woods about 50 yards from us. And uh, they kept kept looking back at the timber, looking back at the timber. And so Justin got the camera on him, got to rolling. And right before he stepped out, I could hear something sound like a grunt down the woods. And sure enough, about two or three grunts later, here he comes out of the timber. And he chases those does around a little bit. And he was all over this food plot. He was headed towards that side of the timber and uh, grunting the whole time so I started grunting back at him and I uh, got his interest and he started coming up here towards these two fawns I was hoping he was going to come up here and bump them and then he would have been in range but uh, he's since gone into the timber over here so me and Justin have spun in the ground line and we're hoping that he'll come out right here to uh, try to get downwind of what the calls that I was making but with this redneck we'll be sealed up in here and uh, if he does happen to loop we'll be on him before he gets our wind so if he doesn't come back out, it's going to be getting pretty dark here pretty quick. So we're going to definitely be back in here grinding it out all week on this buck. So we'll keep our fingers crossed we get an opportunity at him.